All right, everybody. Uh, hello, and welcome to our second week of remote learning. Real quick, I'm just going to walk you through what we'll be doing this week and the resources that I've set aside for you. So here on our homepage, that's where this video will eventually be. So I have a filler for it for right now. Uh, as we move on to day two, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually post the video of all of the questions that you guys asked and me responding to them. So there will be like a slideshow situation where I'll be answering questions, but that's most of your task for today. I've also, as you noticed, given you the option to choose Educated by Tara Westover as your independent reading book. So the idea here is that you can click on the picture or the box below it, and it'll take you to a PDF of the book if you'd like to read it on a device. Or you can click over here, and I've linked my audiobook files that you are more than welcome to use. I've also posted on Google Classroom for you today a tracker for your independent reading. So this will be the first day that you need to fill that out. What you'll end up doing is you'll be putting your book and how many minutes you spent reading. So if you've done independent reading in the past, you know that we used to count pages and that becomes kind of hard when we're a lot of us reading digitally. So I'm more interested in how much time you've spent. So like for instance, today, once you find the book, if you could give me like 15 solid minutes of reading throughout the day, I'd be a happy camper. That's what I'm really looking for. On some days I might give you a little bit more time to read, but I'll make sure to specify that if that's the case. On Tuesday, we're going to get started with our writing diagnostic. Now, I told you I wasn't going to do that right off the bat. Now we are going to do it. So I have a story for you to read. It's called Where Are You Going? Where Have You Been? It's by Joyce Carol Oates. And you have several options on how you would read that. So I've given you the like online version that's basically just a Google Doc with the whole story on it. I've also given you an audiobook version so you can listen to someone doing a reading of it. And after you've done one or the other, if you're interested, I've also posted a short film that somebody made and it's actually really really well done it's pretty close to the text i would still read or listen to the text first because you're going to need to to fill out the doc that i've posted on google classroom on this day on that doc you need to identify a theme and you need to identify some evidence from the story that pertains to that theme and i've explained that on the documents. I've also uh, on Google Classroom posted a video that kind of walks you through how to use that document. So hopefully that will help a bit. Now on Wednesday, we're actually going to do the writing of the literary analysis. So here is a video where I kind of walk you through what I'm expecting of you today, but this is the only assignment you'll have. So I'll have a Google Doc posted to Google Classroom that you'll fill out your literary analysis. You can also use the organizer that you filled out yesterday because you're probably gonna need it since that's where your evidence is. I'll have a Google Meet open all day. Right now this says one to three, that's not true. It'll be open 8.30 to 1.30 where you can pop in and ask me questions face to face. You can also always ask me questions on Hangouts or Gmail if you have any trouble. On Thursday, kind of as payback for me making you write an essay without teaching you any writing skills first, because that's what a diagnostic is. I have actually filmed myself writing a thematic analysis, which is the same type of essay that you wrote on Wednesday. So here you'll watch me struggle my way through writing a thematic analysis over the Bass, the River, and Sheila Manch, which is the text that I keep using as an example because several of you read it last year. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is start reading The Life You Save May Be Your Own by Flannery O'Connor. Now, you're more than welcome to finish the text in one day if you'd like, but if you'd like to spread it out over two days because I made you watch a pretty long lesson video for that, that's totally fine too. You'll also notice that, again, I have a Google Meet link if you'd like to pop in and ask questions or just socialize. Some people are getting on just to talk. That's also totally fine. We don't get to talk to each other as much as we used to, so feel free to use the Google Meet for that as well. Now on Friday, we're going to finish up the life you save may be your own. And then I've given you an example of what a Google Meet discussion of the life you save may be your own and where are you going, where have you been, would look like if we were meeting together. So the next time that we read a short story, I'm going to have an open Google Meet where you guys can pop in and we can discuss the text. Here's an example of what that would look like, especially on my end while I'm teaching it. So I kind of go through both plots and then I compare themes, I compare different scenarios that the characters 
characters get into and overall just explain why I've put them together the way that I have. You notice there's another Google Meet link and there'll also be a summary for the whole week to kind of walk you through what you've done, what you need to get done and uh, reminders for any due dates. After you have gone through the lesson and finished reading both stories, I want you to go to the week two self-assessment form and just give me an idea of where you're at. So this is how you feel you understand it. You don't lose points for saying that you don't understand something. That's just good feedback for me so that I know how to go about next week if I need to really hit some topics again or bring up some topics that I just hadn't covered because I was making assumptions that I shouldn't have. So all of those are open for you. Uh, they're very great options, but please make sure that you fill out that form. That'll be your formal assessment for that day. There's still a useful links page that has everything that I'll be referencing throughout the week. And if I add to it before the end of the week, that's totally fine too. You'll have everything that you need. Now, again, in our archive, I still have a sample week from the fact that we've only done one week of e-learning so far, but you'll notice that now last week's slides are right there and available for you to click on and go over again if you need them. Also, of course, they're all on Google Classroom and I post it each day so that you have access to it. So either way works for me, but here's another place where you can access those resources. So this is our week. Let me know if you have any questions about it and I will see you very soon.